This video will explain data logger activation and its button functionality. There are four step instructions on the inside of the box. Most important is to remove the external probe and place it in the storage unit for at least an hour or two in order to bring the temperature down to the storage unit's level. Now we will prep the data logger for use. We'll adhere the Velcro strips to the back, which are used to hold the data logger to the front of the storage unit. We have two buttons, the read and the set button. The read button is used to scroll through options on the screen, and the set button is used to commit the choice to memory. Before activating the device, there are a number of test screens which you can see by pressing the read button. We press one time, we see a pixel check light up on screen, and there are six other test screens which you can see by pressing the read button multiple times until you're back to the sleep mode screen. You must be in the sleep mode in order to activate the data logger. In order to activate, we will press and hold the set and read buttons for four seconds. One, two, three, four. And the date format will appear on screen. It's a European date format so we will use the read button to scroll to US date format and press the set button in order to commit that to memory. It's displaying the date of March 25th, 2014, which is today's date, but the time is 201. So we will commit the date to memory by pressing the set button for 0, 3, 2, 5, and 14. Now at the time, we can use the set button again to accept the one. The read button will be used to scroll us to the four. And we will commit that to memory. We'll press the read button in order to move the one to a zero. And to change that six to a one. If we scroll past our desired number, we can continue to press the read button until we return to the one and commit that to memory by pressing the set. Now we see a, the letter C blinking in the right hand corner, which indicates the device will operate in Celsius mode. New Hampshire's immunization providers must use Celsius readings. If you do wish to change to Fahrenheit, you would press the read button and see change to Fahrenheit or press the read button again and accept the C by pressing the set button. The device is now activated. You can tell by the check mark in the left hand corner the current date, current time, and the word lock on screen. The lock indicates that the device will not take a temperature reading for 10 minutes, which gives plenty of time to move over to your storage unit and connect it to the external sensor that has already been conditioned.